folks, it's Ian from Whatever We Are. Got a quick guitar tutorial for our song, Drunks and Addicts. So the first bit we have is this intro part, played on the acoustic guitar, and then we'll get into the electric guitar part in a minute. All right, so the chords for the whole song are just D. I'm also in drop D tuning, by the way, so that means my low E string is tuned down to a D, so D. D minor, and a G. That's the whole song. But we've got this picking, sort of percussive picking pattern on the acoustic guitar, so. That whole bit. So I'm basically picking the D string, G string, and B string, while holding down the chord D. in the E and I pull off the F sharp to the E. Let's try it zoomed in so you can see a little better what's actually going on. So that's the D, then we get to the B minor, which is gonna be, remember we're in drop D, so my root is now on the ninth fret. And then my pointer finger is gonna go on the seventh fret. And I'm playing that open D in the middle. It's sort of half muted in the record. And that's just uh, the B string seventh fret to bring my pinky around to play the ninth fret on the G string. So really slow, that's. Zoomed in a little more so you can really see the picking. See around my other fingers, just literally here to here, right? And the last chord in the sequence is G, which remember will now be on the fifth fret because we are tuned down a whole step um, on our E string. So there's our root, and then it's just an octave to the uh, fifth fret of the D string. Pretty basic. Kind of, I'm play, kind of playing with the, the dead note in the middle. I'm, I'm muting it. Muting the A string just helps that percussiveness come come about. All right, so the whole sequence is uh, something like this. And then the second time around and each time going forward, instead of starting with this open D, I'm now using the low D. Make sense? So that is uh, basically the verse, the acoustic part. All right, let's talk about the use of the electric guitar in this song. Uh, there's a couple things going on. Um, first, you can hear these little swells happening here. Let's play a little bit of that. So. All I'm doing there, it's all on the B string. 10th fret, just fading it in. You can use, either use a volume pedal or you can swell in with your volume knob, whatever you prefer. I like to use a volume pedal because I'm lazy. Um, <clears throat> cool, let's get into the next part. So we got this little uh, like pre-chorus part. D. I'm just hitting it once and then I'm playing these mutes. So I'm playing the root of the B here, up to the rest of the chord. Same thing with the G, back up to the rest of the chord. So really I'm playing D, to B, to D, to G, to D, if you want to be technical. But so that part, one more time. Now we get into this little octave slide on the second half. So 
just sliding. E, F sharp, E, D. Just octaves. The rest of the same. So now we've got the hook, which is pretty basic. Let's have a listen. So I'm just playing pretty basic chords. Um, I can't remember exactly, but I believe in the recording, some are just rung out, and then some are more active. So it's all the same shape stuff. Uh, the D, I'm keeping it at D9, so I'm leaving that E open. Same. Uh, G, I'm going to shape a little differently. I'm using my third finger on the G string, seventh fret, fourth finger on the B string, eighth fret, and then my first finger is barring to get the uh, power chord. So. So that's basically the whole song, except uh, we have a guitar solo. So let's take a listen to that real quick. Except them to that part of the end. It's gonna be seven, nine, seven, ten, going B, G, B, B. Now, same two notes, seven to ten on the B, and now up to the ninth on the E, and you're gonna bend it, then back down the way you came up. So that whole phrase. Now we're gonna come down. So all I'm doing there is seven on the B, to nine on the G, to nine on the D, using my uh, middle finger to come down and cover. Because if I pull off, it'll, you'll hear that little gap. So this way I can keep the sustain. And then we're gonna do a very similar thing just adding this first finger at the end on the uh, seventh fret of the G string. So that first half is like this. Second half, very similar, starts the same. Here's where it gets different. So that bends, instead of going down here, it goes down to the ninth fret on the G string. Now we have this same thing. And then the end is a little different. So the end is just nine on the uh, B, seven on the B string to nine on the G string um, to eight on the B, down a fret, and then up to the 10th. So the whole thing.
All right, and there you have it. That's Drunks and Addicts guitar tutorial. I uh, hope it was informative and fun. And uh, if any of you guys want to cover this, please uh, tag us if you post it. We'd love to see it. Hope you guys are having a good time today and practicing and learning new things always. See you later.